Gen to my left is about to get done. Hello, love. It's make your choice time. Uh, and now this guy's gonna go try to take a hit. Not gonna take it. I'm gonna have to use make your choice to my advantage right here. It's you with our mobility. This guy goes back. Hello, love. Read you like a book. There you. Yeah, you. You. Right there. In my opinion, if I was going to do a double upload today, I've been wanting to play Dredge because not only... You, all the high MMR survivors, stop sleeping on your boy Dredge because Dredge is not only... This Dredge is... Ah, fuck, is he top 5? Dredge is nasty. And it's crazy to me that I rarely see him when I do play survivors because you get those bonus ass blood points and you know your boy's broke. I'm still fucking broke. Especially on my new account, dude. Leveling up all the killers and prestiging them. <laughs> the tough new account life. But Dredge... Don't sleep on Dredge, because not only is Dredge, in my opinion, very close to top 5, if not top 5, with the right build. Standard by himself, probably not top 5, but dude, with the right build and the right setup, not only is the, basically the Dredge a fucking nightmare-inducing killer for high MMR survivors, but our build, not only are we about to go fucking sicko mode, but we have one perk that is the absolute most chaotic perk to rock on dredge and the most terrifying perk of all time especially on dredge but nonetheless you guys want to see some sick ass 50 50s some sick ass into tps and hopefully some thick ass locker pools and we're gonna fucking bring them but nonetheless you're ready i'm ready i'm gonna shut up we're gonna get into the perks Alrighty guys, now this is what we're rocking with and I spilled for a nice dredge. So not only does our build basically say, hey, you have a secondary objective, which means I'm gonna TP on that ass, and I'm not gonna let you do it. But our first perk, Hex Plaything. Gonna give us vision and information and create a secondary objective for that. Yo, I completely off topic. I fucking love the dredge's uh, menu music. It's close to Pyramid Head's godlike entry. I'm getting off topic, but Hex Plaything gonna create a secondary objective. Not only that, the Oblivion status effect isn't going to be as useful as Dredge because once Nighttime Mode activates, or the Nightmare Nighttime Mode, we're going to call it Nighttime Mode. When Nighttime Mode activates, we're already going to have the Oblivion status effect, and the thing with Dredge when you're rocking Hex Plaything, you're only using it for the secondary objective to be able to instant TP to that secondary objective, so that Oblivion status effect, while it may be useful when approaching a gen, it's not going to be as useful because Dredge is fucking louder than a goddamn truck on the highway, so... Hex plaything, mainly gonna be used for that secondary objective, and another option to TP. But then our next perk, Call of Brian. Gonna be our guaranteed or main guaranteed regression tool, and Call of Brian gonna be more useful towards the mid to late game and especially early game if they're rocking that same gen. But Call of Brian just gonna give us that guaranteed uh, regression, and once we get the two to one gen standoffs, gonna be ridiculously clutch. If we can consistently TP, I'm telling you right now, Call of Brian, especially paired up with our next perk in the late game, with Dredge, is disgusting, especially at high MMR. Our next perk, Eruption. You guys already know, Call of Brian with Eruption is not only the fucking better than ham and cheese sandwiches when that shit was created, better than fucking chocolate chip cookies back in the 1900s. Eruption Call of Brian is an insanely clutch setup, especially in the, uh, in the late game against high MMR survivors, mainly because you're getting that Call of Brian regression early, and you're getting that eruption proc, and the eruption proc is just the icing on the cake, especially in late game uh, 1v1, or what the fuck, 1 to 2 gen standoffs. I'm stumbling over my words, and I'm talking way too fucking fast, but you guys already know, eruption, 1 to 2 gen standoffs, is going to be ridiculously clutch, especially with the Dredge's mobility, and especially Eruption with specifically Dredge. It's so clutch because Dredge's mobility is ridiculously insane. To the point, especially when Nightmare Mode or Nighttime Mode activates, not only can you insta-TP to a specific gen, get an Eruption proc on that gen, instantly teleport to another gen, Eruption proc that gen, and instantly teleport to another gen, and Eruption, it's like you're playing chess, but you're playing chess by yourself. It's insane. So Eruption, 1 to 2 gen standoffs with Dredge, gonna be clutch. But then our last perk, which is probably gonna be the most clutch perk and most terrifying perk to rock on Dredge, especially in the late game. Make your choice! You guys already know, make your choice with characters that have a no terror radius and insane mobility is gonna be insanely fucking clutch. Make your choice specifically on the Dredge, you're not gonna be able to hide in a locker. 
when Make Your Choice activates. So not only does that guarantee that the survivors, especially for facing high MMR survivors, are going to be pretty much hiding around the map, but if Nighttime Mode activates and we instant TP to it, uh, to the hook that we put the survivor on that the Make Your Choice proc activated on, not only are we getting that guaranteed vision and information, but dude, we're going to know exactly where the fuck they are. And we're gonna chase in 50-50 that ass for the one shot on top of an eruption proc late game. Make your choice paired up with eruption. It's probably gonna be the most clutch perks in our entire build. And when it comes to one to two gen standoffs, insanely godlike. Especially if you're effectively getting those fat ass mouse ones. But then our add-ons, and we're rocking something a little bit different. I know previously when we played Dredge, we rocked the um, I forgot what it was called. We're gonna go fuck it. We're gonna go to the field recorder. Now we're rocking broken doll increases the duration of nightfall by 20 seconds which means we're gonna have an increased duration when nightfall activates by an increased 20 seconds which is insanely godlike which is even more clutch in the late game having nightfall or that's what it's called nightfall so having nightfall in the late game for a longer duration is very very good especially when you're rocking eruption not only is it going to make your map pressure in the late game depending on your locker placements ridiculously godlike but having that increase 20 percent rather than having nightfall activate at the beginning of the game is definitely a lot more beneficial even though i think field recorder is godlike but we're pretty much rocking a late game build so broken doll not only is it gonna, it's going to take a little bit to get in the early game but not only with broken doll actually with nightfall being not being uh affected in the early game you're actually more likely to get more pulls because survivors are going to be trying to lock the lockers and you guys already know when they lock the lockers and i teleport to that gym i instantly get a pull so with broken doll not only in the early game are we more likely to get a pull i know this sounds very fucking confusing but i promise you it's going to make sense broken doll is going to come and clutch in the late game bro i feel like i'm doing math i feel like a fucking uh a geometry teacher except i'm teaching dead by daylight oh, fuck math <laughs> but then our next perk Oh, what the fuck? Our next add-on, Fallen Shingle. Using Reign of Darkness increases Nightfall charge speed by an additional 15% per second. So, when we TP to a locker or even stay in a locker, and I think this works for us 50-50s if I'm not mistaken. More than likely, I think it does. But when we use our ability, we're basically getting 15% per second to basically get our way to Nightfall. So, whenever we use our ability... It's gonna charge up Nightfall even faster, and we can just hide into a locker, and we're getting an increased 15% per second. So if we're in a situation where Nightfall is about to get activated or halfway, we can insta TP, hide in a locker, and we can actually use the lockers to uh, as a mind game. But we're gonna be able to hide into a locker, activate Nightfall again, super speedy, and fucking terrorize the high MMR survivors. But that's enough talk. Do you guys know what time it is, Dredge? I know you're ready. They're ready. They want to see some sick-ass 50-50s. I know it's been a decent... Look at that big-ass baby face. Look at that beautiful-ass baby face. You're adorable. Oh, look at He's shy. He's fucking shy. Dredge, I know it's been a decent amount of time since we had a decent conversation. I know we're playing on the new account. But I think it's about time we show why. Oh, my God. He's looking deep into my skull. I'm actually kind of scared. I feel like these people can hear me. Dredge, I know you're ready. They're ready. They want to know why you're still top five and close to top five. And I think it's about time we show people not to sleep on you no longer. Let's do this. He's ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into this shit. The Dead Dog Saloon! The Grave of Glenvale. Oh! We did not just get dredged on Dead Dog Saloon. This is about to be a fuck fest and this early game momento, yeah, I'm definitely- There's no way in titties that I'm not getting a pool with this game. Hello, hello, hello. The nightmare's only just begun. Hello, it's a drop. 50-50? I'll take that. They didn't go to the window though. Hold on, there's two over here. Hello, hello, hello. I knew you were going back to the pallet. If she's not gonna take the 50-50s, I already know what you're doing. Oh, yep, I already know what you're doing. Hold forward on that ass. Gonna take it here though? Not gonna take it here. Hello! So this guy's not gonna take the 50-50s pallet? No pallet! Mouse one that ass! Hello, love. You gonna hop off? You gonna hop off? Are gonna hop off? Can I get up through here? Hello, hello, hello! You locked the doors and I broke them down! You rushing proc? I wanna see if she goes to lock that door again. Hello, love. I'm getting a triple eruption proc on that ass. That's Golem Flush. Hello, Golem Flush. Oh my god, that guy's falling from the sky. Are you in zero gravity mode? 50-50, son. 
I'm not gonna take the 50 50s. I'm not gonna take the 50 50s. I guess correctly. 360 on that ass. Did she lock the door? Didn't lock the door. Like the shit. Hello, 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 hello. I'm TPing on that ass. Break the shit. Why wow, he went for that? Wait, hold up. That was a fast ass heal. Insta heal? I think this guy has an insta heal. Did go back too. I do have a double eruption proc, but I'm gonna have to down this guy. Hello. Quick and quiet is gonna save you. So this guy has an insta heal med kit. Uh, not an insta heal, but that was fucking fast, dude. Let's see what I can do here. Hello, quick and quiet, can't save you forever. My games. Hello, you're dead. Oh, uh, maybe not. Nah, you can see my thick ass. Not gonna take the 50 50. Insta drop. Wow, he went for it. This guy's balls. Uh, if I down this guy right here, I have to try to go for a pool. Should I try to go for a pool? No, this guy's dead. No, that's one. Ah! Eruption proc. I have to make my way back up there and uh, call up around that gen. God, that was a long ass chase. This chase was that long only because this guy had an insta heal med kit. Uh, uh, you are not locking the doors. If you lock the doors, I'm gonna break my door. Ah! Hold up. I'm actually gonna run away here. Hold up. Oh. Hold up. Uh, what am I gonna do here? Make your choice time. Three, two, Gent to my left is about to get done. Hello, love. It's make your choice time. Uh, now this guy's gonna go try to take a hit. Not gonna take it. I'm gonna have to use make your choice to my advantage right here. Especially you with our mobility. This guy goes back. Hello, love. Read you like a book. Uh, get up. No flashlight. I wonder if this guy's gonna take a hit. I'm curious. Get him more compared to the price of death. Boop. down. Did he go down? No, he didn't go down. Hello! I knew somebody was here! Not one that ass! Wait, are you in the basement? Am I tripping or am I tripping? I am tripping. It's nightfall. You're the one I want too. I need to, uh, what the hell? I need to eruption proc that gen up top. Well, you're not the one I want. You're the one I want. Hello, love. Golem flush. This guy's dead, and there's no power over here, right? Did we break it? I hope we broke it. Didn't break it. What the hell? Quick and quiet. That quick and quiet is confusing the shit out of me. Well, love, you. 360. I have an idea. Hello, love. Hello, hello, hello. Shiva flush? Uh, eruption proc that ass. Alright, now I'm in a ridiculously comfortable position because I got a double eruption proc and we're getting to the late game. Ooh, ooh. I'm in a really good spot. They're all injured too. Oh my god. Uh, what do I want to do here? I kind of don't want to... Should I? No, it's basically getting you are not locking my doors, girl. Break this shit. Oh, what the fuck? Get him looking for the press of death. You're still on that gen. You better hop off. I'm coming for that ass. You're all injured. Hello, love. I'm gonna go to the window. No window. You have dead hard? You're hugging the wall. You have dead hard. No dead hard. Double eruption proc too. Alright, so I'm gonna put this guy in the basement and then I'm gonna TP a little bit further away because we are gonna- What the fuck? Yo, did you guys just hear somebody fucking break their legs? Hold up. Get him low compared to the price of death. Nightfall begins! Hmm. Somebody's close. Wonder. Shh. Make your choice, but that chick's injured already, so what the fuck? You're not the one I want, but you're the one I'm gonna take. And no! I'm gonna go for this chick right here. Are they gonna go for the reset? Hold up. No reset. Careful, Spongebob! Hello! Did you miss me? 
You wanna kiss the dredge? Take this. Nice one, that ass. Holy shit, we're in a good spot. Get up. Yeah, I'm telling you, once we get to mid to late game, dredge is absolutely nasty. Get him with the rest of death. Where's everybody at? Hello, 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 hello. Are we dancing or are we dancing? I think we're dancing. Break the shit. Oh, oh. Fat TP. No, 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 no. Oh, that's not the TP that I wanted, man. Ugh. Fuck, I don't know where the shit is now. Yeah, I wanted the TP to the uh, under the hangman, but I think what the fuck you went back. Disrespect. They didn't go for it. 50 50s. Not gonna take it. Dead hard? No, dead hard. Mouse one that ass. Yo, getting those clean mouse ones is so fucking satisfying. Get up, uh, grandma flush? Yo, this is like 70s grandma flush? Where are my hooks? Put her over here, and I should be able to go back upstairs and get another ruptured brock you are on that chin, and you lock the doors. Time to break it down. Get him looking pretty. Oh, uh, pay the price of death. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Let me in? Thought I was gonna teleport up there? No, 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 Shiva flush! Went down. Bounce. Oh my gosh, she went on the table like a goddamn, like a stripper. Stripper flush? Um, chick is behind me too. She's injured. Eruption proc on that ass. Oh. And you know what? Lock this door. Is the bottom locked too? The bottom is not locked. Break the shit. Oh. That should give me enough time. Make your choice! Do I, want go uh, do I want to make your choice? Or do oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I do. Hold on. No, no, no. I see a thick ass. That's Goblin Flush. He's actually going to baby you. Hold on. Wouldn't surprise me if he baited me right here. Hello. No bait. Just a kill. I'm surprised that guy did. That was risky. Break the shit. Kill confirmed. Get up, Goblin Flush. Yo, this match is so fat. Dredge makes this game feel like a fucking, like a NASCAR race. Get him looking for the press of death. Oh, that guy's dead! Nightfall's only just keep going. Hello, hello, hello. I knew you were close. Mm, should I eruption proc? I'm gonna eruption proc. Hello! Hop off. Jumped over. They didn't jump over, nice baby. And no! What the fuck? Jump over? They jump over, bounced? No bounce. Just the mouse one. Locker? No locker. I have an idea. And no! 50 50 time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. They didn't take the 50 50s. Whoa, hold on. You were running for your career. I thought you were going to take some 50 50s, but I don't think. Kill confront. That was disrespectful. Get up, 70s grandma flush. Is this game over? This game might be over. Oh, I still haven't got a pool yet, though. Get him up and pay the price of death. Hello, hello, hello. We break the doors down. Hello? Uh oh. Kill confirmed. Hello, I see you hiding, love. You can't hide for any longer. She's walking like a crab! 50 50s. You gonna take it? Not gonna take it. Just a mouse one with your name on it. Holy tits! Bro, this match was so. What, what just happened? <laughs> what is that? We got to a three gen standoff? And like. Oh, fuck my hooks. Hold up. Uh, this is gonna be close. Uh, it's gonna be close. Get him, Moe, compared to the person death. We actually fucking got that. Teleport. Where's this shit going? Hello. Not waiting for me. Oh, you are waiting for me. Hello, hello. Who's this? Oh, that's... I, tennis Flesh? Or... I don't, tennis Flesh? I, I didn't even give you a name. Holy shit, bro. Once we... Um, I don't even know what to say. That match was just so fucking fast-paced. It was insane. Get him, Moe, compared to the person death. It's funny too because once we got those two eruption procs, like once we held this down super duper hard, I knew for a fact, as soon as we got those eruption procs and Nightfall activated, 
This game was fucking over. Yo, and that make your choice too on the Goblin Flesh? Saved us a fuck ton of time. Merciless killer! Holy shit, that match was insane. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, do not sleep on the dredge because once it's late game and Nightfall's on, dredge might have one of the best late games in the game. What's everybody rocking? That's what, did they have a prove thyself? They, they had two prove thyself. I had a feeling they had a prove thyself because they were doing those gems fast. Live, burrow time, dead hard. I got deliverance. Two lives. Wow, I head on too and I didn't get a locker pool. I'm actually genuinely surprised we weren't able to get a locker pool. They weren't really locking the lockers. I guess they were afraid of uh, the TPs, which is kind of smart. But nonetheless, you guys tried. I'm too fired. We'll get him next time. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really freaking appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and sub. And don't forget to hit that notification button to get notified when I upload. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get notified whenever I do upload. I usually post it on there. But nonetheless, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love playing. I might play Dredge again, to be I had a lot of fun. I want to be able to get some locker pools, but these guys were playing really, really uh, conservative. So I'm, I'm surprised they didn't lock as many lockers as they did. Because I was expecting to get at least one or two pools, especially for the map that we're playing on. So... I'm genuinely surprised they didn't lock any lockers, but dude, that late game, I'm telling you right now, dude, do not sleep on the dredge, because the dredge will haunt your fucking nightmares. This character is sick. But uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love you guys, and I will see you guys. I'm uploading this on a Wednesday, so I'll probably see you guys Friday. <sighs> Goodbye, and good night.